If you want to increase your productivity without spending hours learning a new system, Superlist might be the tool you're looking for. I've been using Superlist for a few weeks and unlike other productivity or task management apps that can sometimes feel overwhelming to learn and use, Superlist massively improved the way I organize my work by essentially combining two apps that I use all the time, reminders and notes. And not only does it do that really intuitively, so it feels natural to use, but it also adds some surprisingly powerful features that make Superlist even more useful. Today's video is sponsored, but as always, these are all my own views. So let's get straight into it. This is the main screen, and at its core, Superlist blends tasks and notes into one single workflow, so that you're not jumping between separate apps. What's really smart about it is how it manages subtasks. At first, it just looks like a normal task management app, but clicking on this arrow opens a new section where you can write notes about your task and add more subtasks. And you can imagine how useful that is for managing projects with multiple tasks and layers. What's great is that you can just keep going. Subtasks can also have notes and more subtasks, so you can really customize your project and task management as much as you need. On the left, you've got the sidebar, which basically shows different ways to organize your projects and lists. So by default, it's got inbox, today, tasks, updates, and lists, which if you click on them, will filter your tasks in different ways. But you can also add new sections. So if you wanted to add a new project you're working on or just separate home tasks from work tasks, you can do that too. Next to that is an option to add a new list. And then you've got a separate dropdown for meetings, which I'll come on to later. In the list itself, you've got a few different ways to input information. By default, you can start typing a list of your tasks if you want to use the list as a simple to-do list or reminders app. So I can type in write script and then set a due date. It also supports natural language processing. So instead of setting a due date through the calendar, I can just write write script by next Thursday and it will set the date for me. If I type forward slash, it brings up a menu which lets me choose a number of different input options. Task, which brings up your normal to-do list, Sublist, which lets you embed another list within this current one. Paragraph, which is just normal text input. And Talk and Make with AI, which are some of Superlist's AI capabilities that I'll be coming onto later. There's also some formatting options like heading sizes, dividers, bullets, numbers, and quotes. And you can also add images and attachments to your lists as well. So in terms of basic task management, I think Superlist does that really well. Then we move on to Meetings, which has its own section in the sidebar. Superlist works with the main video conferencing apps like Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, and Slack. And it's basically an AI note taker that creates transcripts of your meetings and turns them into structured notes with summaries and tasks automatically assigned to your team with due dates. And what's cool about Superlist is that unlike other apps that join your meetings as a bot, it's able to analyze and transcribe your meetings without joining as another participant, which I think makes it a lot more seamless and professional. Now to test this, I actually just played a meeting that I found on YouTube and started the meeting notes feature on Superlist to see how well it picked things up. And this is the result after playing the meeting for about five minutes. So you can see it's done pretty well in summarizing the meeting. So I've got an AI generated title, subtitles according to what topics were discussed, and it's got a few tasks lined up. I do think that the meeting transcript could be improved. It currently doesn't recognize different speakers and only differentiates your voice from everyone else's. And it presents what was said in very short lines, which I don't think is the best format for a transcript. But that said, you can see who said what in the summary and action items. So that's a fairly minor point. The next AI feature is Superlist AI chat messages, where you can actually chat with Superlist about your meetings and ask it questions, either once the meeting's over, but also while the meeting's happening in real time. So imagine you get distracted during a meeting and miss something. The AI is powerful enough that you can chat with it to ask what's just been said, which I think is just insane. Then there's Superlist talk and make with AI features. Talk is Superlist's AI voice assistant. You can talk about a project or work with the voice assistant and it's able to understand everything you're saying and actually summarize the whole conversation by turning it into tasks and accompanying notes. In fact, let's give it a reasonably difficult example right now. I need to create a video review for Superlist. I need to research the app's features, write the script, which should have an intro and outro and cover task management functionality, meeting capabilities, AI features, and finally, pricing. 
Then I've got to film and edit the video and it's due by the end of next week. Give scripting, filming and editing two days each. So let's see what it comes up with. So overall, you can see that it's actually really smart and makes organizing your projects really easy. And imagine if it's able to do those heavier tasks, talking to the voice assistant about adding basic tasks to different lists is just light work. So if you're busy doing something and just need to add an item to your groceries list, for example, you can just talk to Superlist. Then the last AI feature is Make, which is Superlist's on-platform AI assistant that can help you create a full list of tasks from scratch help you design project briefs, or even do research for the projects you're working on. To access make, all you have to do is type forward slash make, and then what you'd like it to do. So I can ask it to create a habit tracker that will help track my exercise, medication, and hydration every day. And you can see that within a few seconds, it comes up with a list of tasks that I can tick off every day. Now, depending on my requirements, I can obviously refine it, but instead I'm going to access make again and ask it for a tasty but healthy recipe that I can try to make for lunch and see what it comes up with. So you can see that it's generated this recipe for me in task form. And actually what I noticed is whenever I asked make a question, it always presented the answer as a set of tasks. So I'd say that whilst it's capable of doing basic research, the way it delivers the results isn't the most useful. So I'd probably stick to using it for creating tasks instead. The last important features to mention are around team collaboration. Superlist works really well with teams and you can assign tasks and share lists easily, which lets you manage and work on projects at the same time. Not only that, but I've already mentioned how Superlist AI can summarize your calls and create actionable tasks that are assigned to different members of your team. So I think that itself makes it really powerful because you can also chat to the AI about your meetings. Any team members that had clashing schedules or just weren't able to attend a meeting can always just get an AI summary without the need for another team member to fill them in on what was discussed. And I think that just boosts the team's efficiency even more. You may have noticed that at the bottom of every task, it says leave a message. And this is actually one of my favorite features. Team members can actually message each other on Superlist about each task. So if you need to discuss something, you can send people messages within that task itself, which helps keep things really organized. It removes clutter from other chats, and I think it's actually one of the best features of the app. There's been so many times I'm chatting on Teams and because everyone's working on different things, the chat very quickly becomes cluttered and confused. So this just helps organize your chats really easily. And on top of that, team messaging is included in the free version of the app. And that brings us onto pricing. There's three levels of pricing, which can vary depending on if you go for a monthly or annual subscription. The free version lets you create up to five lists and honestly would be okay for smaller teams as you can still have unlimited tasks and notes within those lists. So it's really not a bad option if you're just starting out. The basic plan is $5 or $6 a month, which gets you unlimited lists and sub lists, unlimited team members, the voice AI feature that I went through earlier, and the ability to integrate Superlist with other apps like Gmail and Slack. And finally, the super plan is $21 or $25 a month, and that gets you all the AI features as well. So that covers everything you need to know about Superlist. It's an app that doesn't have a large learning curve compared to other tools out there. It looks clean and user-friendly, and I think it's gonna boost your and your team's productivity quite considerably. If you have any questions on Superlist, drop a comment below. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.